Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance, Mr. Somdi Duangdi, told the ongoing 10th session of the National Assembly's 8th Legislature on Wednesday, October 28, that the government expects to receive over 22,000 billion gift for the state budget implement the revised plan approved by the National Assembly or NA, while domestic income would touch over 20,000 billion gift or 100% of the revised plan. Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance, Mr. Somdi Duangdi, told the ongoing 10th session of the National Assembly's 8th Legislature on Wednesday, October 28, that the government is facing challenges in implementing the plan over the remaining months of the year, and the Ministry of Finance will set up a special tax force committee to monitor and push forward revenue collection and expense management in various sectors nationwide. According to him, the expenses for the last couple of months of the year should not be higher than 32,580 billion keep or 98.6% of the revised plan. He said, if various measures are to put into practice for narrowing unnecessary expenses, the government can save up to 464 billion keep. Based on projections of expected income and expenses, the government will need 20,156.33 billion keep to elevate the fiscal deficit this year, and two main sources of funding of this are expected to be loans and domestic fund raising. <laughs> During the budgetary implementation over the nine-month period, the government faced a shortfall of 3,228 billion gib, which means the government needs an additional 8,683 billion gib to support the deficit of the past nine months, according to an official report. In addition, the government is targeting an income of 27,292 billion kip in the 2021 fiscal plan, an increase of 20.09% when compared to the 2020 revised plan, or 14.95% of GDP. Domestic income in the 2021 fiscal plan is projected at 24,872 billion kip or a 21.99% increase when compared to the revised plan of 2020 and 13.62% of GDP. A hotline will be in operation throughout the session to accept public comments and complaints, which can be sent via free telephone number 156 fax 021413528. P.O. Box 662 and email nalao.156 at gmail.com.